and welcome to our show, Geeks Wired Podcast, where we talk about video games, movies, TV, comic books, technology, and TLDR, the Internet of Things. And this week, we have Anthony. Sup? And Anna. Hello, that's me. And Bill. And Bill. Yay. And you can contact us by emailing us at geeksarewired at gmail.com or give us a phone call at 801-896-4335 or 801-896-GEEK. You also can help support us at patreon.com slash geeksarewired, which also gets you early access to the, can give you rewards, early access to the podcast or access to the Discord channel. The Reddit flare has been discontinued from the uh, Patreon side. Oh. Uh, yes. Lame. So no more Reddit flare. Nope. If you had the Reddit flare before, do you still keep it? Nope. No. Because it was a Patreon Reddit flare. No. Uh, did Patreon and Reddit have like a falling out or something? Yes. They just said, we're not supporting anymore. What is a Reddit flare? I don't even I know. I don't know what it is either. Reddit flare is when you post in channels that you have flare... Or you can still have Flare on other channels, but it's not the Patreon one. What it does is it has a little symbol next to your name. Oh, so it's like the YouTube has this option of joining a channel. Yeah. It's like Patreon, but you join on YouTube instead, and you get cool little emoticons. So it sounds like it's the same thing. Yeah. Except for on Reddit, it might actually matter on YouTube. Well, so if you're with this, it was, hey, you're part of this channel that got that supports the creator. In Reddit, it can be built in, so there is flair. So you're like, oh, you're one of the moderators, or you're one of the mm-hmm. special people, or you you support this through something else, and we have given you this flair. So you're special, and you can show it. But not anymore. Well, not through Patreon. Yeah. It just makes me think of office space and the flare. Like, do you have all those buttons? All the flare. All the flare. I just fly. The only thing I think of whenever I hear the word flare is like a uh, a gun flare. Yeah. Like to signal where you are, or if you're in a helicopter and you're trying to evade a heat detect heat heat okay. detecting missile. Yes. Or planes. Or planes. When you deploy flares to bright blazing fires behind you. So the missile gets confused and attacks it instead. Yeah. That's all I think of for some reason. Yeah. Flare. Multiple purposes, reasons, and... I think they're spelled the same. Are they spelled the same? I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It is episode number three... 66. That's okay. I couldn't quite read it. 366 episodes. Attacks are a little weird today. And we shall call it... The Q. The Q? The Q. Why the Q? Because wow vanilla. Oh, that Q. Okay. H- have you heard I was about wondering if you were going to spell it out like Q or just put the word letter Q. We'll figure that I out. I wasn't sure what you were going for. I'll figure that out when I post it. Yeah, I haven't no, I haven't been too exposed to it, but I did read the headline of a story that said people were literally lining up to accept to talk to Quest people oh that's if you get into it first oh yeah there's that too there's also the queue to play the game mm-hmm. heard the queue is as big as two hundred fifty thousand people in front of you yeah just to play the game you're yep. not even you just log in and you're like people really want to play it yeah and then once you end up getting into the game you go stand in another or in the line in wow to go do a quest and everyone's just chilling there's those who are trying to Leroy Jenkins it and run to the front and they're getting booed and everything. Mm-hmm. And then there's the, you know, every time somebody makes it in, everyone cheers like, yay, we, we made it in. So does, did Classic WoW just have that thing where only one person can interact with an NPC at a time? Well, the, there's the major quest that, so you have to go in. So you, not, everyone can't gaggle up. Oh. So... Did they not retroactively add an instancing? It looks like they did not. No. Yeah, that nice little they line. The the experience, I guess. Yes. So what makes it WoW vanilla? 
they basically like Ted used to play WoW and so did I, but I still kind of do. Um, as the expansions have come out, they've added in newer and newer features, and a lot of people who are purists are like, "Oh, they've ruined it." Which back in my day, yeah. So this is like the the first WoW release. Yeah. So okay. it's so. before any expansions, and they've also I think they've done a few tweaks to it just to make it more secure. Yeah. And maybe a little bit of quality life improvements, though don't quote me on that because I'm not sure. They are going to actually make, there is going to be a fix to the WoW Classic or WoW Vanilla. Blizzard's going to fix the, make the queue time shorter. So it's going back to basics, basically. Yeah, basically. Mm -hmm. It's it's like how uh, people are all old, like crazy over like retro games right now. Kind of the same idea. Just because WoW has been around for a long time, so you could classify it as slightly retro, I guess. Yeah. It's been around for a while. I did play it a long time ago. Like, when did it come out? I'm going to look it up. Uh, many moons ago. Oh, yeah. Many, many moons. But this, so this has been going on since Monday. But and there's already you know the, there's a cloud or wow cloud wow classic subreddit that talks about it. The people are uh, talking about ranging from thirty minutes to a few hours for waiting in line. Yeah, it's a lot of people are just having fun with it too. Just yeah, chilling, talking to randos. They're, they're li literally it, it's like Black Friday if everyone was respectful to each other. So. World of Warcraft was first released in November. Well, guess what year? 2003. Anna, you got a year? Uh, Maybe 2004. She got it. It was four. Aww. Yeah, it's been out for a long time. Like, it was... It came out whenever online gaming was at its heyday. <laughs> or no, even before it was at its heyday, I think. So the first expansion came out in August the 2006. The major MMORPG... That's been out longer than that would be RuneScape, which came out in like '98, and it's still around. What about RuneScape Two? RuneScape Two came out in like I think 2007 or eight. Oh, okay. It's also on there now in three or four or whatever. No, oh, I, I think know. it's called Two. That's still the same game. It's just they've had gameplay improvements and tweaks and deprovements. Yeah, like any other game. Wow. <laughs> so, fun cues. But, so, wow. I was thinking of trying it out, actually. A WoW Classic. Yeah. Because I, I wasn't around whenever the Classic was out, but I always kind of wanted to. Because the, as the world, as the expansions came out, the world changed a lot. Like during Cataclysm, mm -hmm. which is, I think, either the fir first or second expansion. They had a lot of stuff change to where, like, the world didn't even look this like a lot of the world landscapes didn't look the same anymore. And it's not even just because of graphics, but also no, it's <laughs> not because of graphics. And I think they, I maybe not, maybe the graphics are still the same. It's hard to tell. I don't know. They the images are. It looks like the graphics are still the the same yeah. as they were back then. <laughs> in some cases, but you still need a new computer to play them. I don't know that you you would. Again, it just depends. But and if you really, really want to, you can always go to Twitch. Oh, watch people play. Yes. Yeah. There are a couple people that I like. There's one person on YouTube that I guess he got early access to it, and he was just streaming it all the time. It's kind of cool. I never watched it. Are you talking about Sully Gnome? No. Oh, okay. This says this guy is called a uh, Smooth McGroovin. Ah. I think is what his name was called. Let me look that up. And he uh, does, you may as well just look it up. Or maybe I'll get the channel link and then I'll put it on the show notes. Oh, we'll let you do that. Or you could look it up too if you think it would be faster. No promises. It's not on the Twitch. Oh, I thought you said the Twitch. No, I said the YouTubes. Oh, now you're making things complicated. It's, yeah, it's just called Smooth McGroove. Smooth McGroove. You can throw it in the, in the show notes. Let me it will link it. On, uh, on the show notes. I don't know if I can. <gasps> I'm trying to find it more. There we go. Yay. And we're going to put it on 
that have talked about. Whoa, uh, you, you're showing behind see. the curtain. You're doing all the secrets. I didn't tell you where it was from, even though I think in the past I've said that. And I think I have to open up the app to get it to, ah. to sync because it's iPhone. Oh, so well. It should May possibly be there. Uh, you know that one? Yeah, that one, yeah. You, you should really update to the uh, new beta. I was under the impression it would auto-update. No, no, no. 13.1. Yeah. The developer. The, the oh, no. They, I'm, not yeah. doing, I'm not doing developer so mode. That's something else is that 13 is still in beta, but yet they've released the actual point one official update for, beta, for yeah. the developers. Yeah. Kind of interesting. I think when that gets actually released, they'll probably go back down to zero. But Let's see. Be interesting. Yeah. So I'll click on the linky. Oh. That way you can see what it's all about. This is a lot of complication. Oh, There's it is so not. much you clicking. It know. may autoplay a video. Yeah, it usually does. Look at that. Yeah. It does autoplay. Yeah, anyways, he just does like a acapella versions of songs and stuff. Oh, that's funny. It's, it's kind of like funny. that one. Songs mm -hmm. of Elune. And he has, uh, usually he has his cat in there too. Nice. Anyways, yeah. That's fun. So, Anna. Yes. You were looking at getting a new Fitbit. Yes, and indeed I have one. Oh, I didn't tell you about this one in fast enough then. I don't know, you have one. There's a new sensor. Hey, that means we could invite you to the challenges again. Yeah, you should reinvite me on those. So which one did you end up with? I got the Versa, but not what? the newer Versa that you not, not the light, but not, not, not the Echo. <gasps> We'll come back into this. I'm Anthony. really excited about that article. Okay. No, no. So you just got the regular Versa. Yeah. Okay. What, whatever's at Costco. Well, I just got that few. version of right. Versa. We have music in the background now, too. I don't know which song you're doing, but we He's probably should stop. Tetris. Uh uh. I thought it was That's what Zelda. It like. Oh, I thought it was. Okay. Kill the beast. Da da da. Oh, wait, it might we're be all the same tune. Yeah, I know. <laughs> things. No, I think that was the Zelda uh, forest theme, I think. Ah. So you're saying Disney ripped off Zelda? It might be the other way around. I'm pretty sure Zelda outdates uh, Beauty and the Beast. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, maybe. I invited you to it. <gasps> I don't know. Oh, I was still able to, uh, able to invite you. Well, you can. You just can only invite Bill's the person just, once. Bill's crushing us. You guys should walk. Actually, I you should walk. update. You I haven't. Did. It said you hadn't updated in like two days. That's because every once in a while the fit, the app decides to crash and then it doesn't auto sync because the app has to be running for it to work. I accidentally left my Fitbit at home like early in the week. Oh, lame. That's all right. Let's see. And I took some naps like throughout the week. I'm not that far in front of everybody. So, okay, for listeners, you're still there is like twelve. It, Fitbit ahead. has a community system where you can challenge each other for how many walks you get, how many steps you get for the week. Yeah, it's weekdays. got a community. You know how many posts are in my community? Well, there's a community as well. There's but three. Two are from Anna. Okay, so there's okay, so there's there's different types of community. The other one is from like two years ago. Actually, how much is 882 days ago? That's almost that's like three or four almost. Yeah. Oh, that's really old. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there's different types of community. There is community between friends. There's community between interests. And then there's the community that you can challenge each other for who gets this mm. X distance the fastest, who walks the most steps during the weekdays. They actually have a couple. Or the weekend. Of, they have a couple other like challenges you can do now. Like, finding the challenges in the new layout is kind of weird, but you can do it. I think you can, like, you can do goal days. You can just do daily showdowns. Oh, I forgot about daily, yeah. Um, But I think a goal day is you just, like, compete to see how much you can complete your goal. Like, steps, like your step goal. I don't know. I've never tried it. But, Yeah. Get your game face on and commit to fit by doing what it takes to hit your daily step goal. Okay, it's just a step goal or challenge, I guess. So, 
Which isn't super fair because people have different s- step goal challenges. Well, look, the idea of changing your step goal is that it is it can be difficult for you. Like somebody who averages 50,000 steps a day is probably going to change that to 50,000 instead of keeping at the 10. What's yours at right now? 12. You, 12? I'm at 12 or 12.5. Okay, mine's be- at 12. I know for a while you had yours at 6 and you were hitting it every day. No. You, you did for a little while. You're thinking somebody else. I promise. No, it was you. You keep saying that. No, it was you. And it's 11 too. No, mine's still higher than yours. Well, mine is more for, but also my official goal is the distance. It's yeah. five miles because they're not the same. 10,000 steps is not a mile or it's not five miles. What is your step goal set to? Uh, I'd have to check whatever the default is at the moment on Fitbit. I think it defaults to 10. My floors are more than yours. How do you know that? Because I know you're not doing 15 floors as a goal. Oh, that's what you mean. Floors. Floors? Oh, the floors. I think mine's set to 10. Yeah, mine's set to 10,000. No, my I, my oh. floors. Your floors? My floors, because it says I have five floors and the circle is half full. So you... you but so I'm at 11,000 to 500, whatever it was, for my goal. You're at 10,000, or you're at 12,000. Mm-hmm. So how many times have you hit your goal in the last week? In the last week? Not that often. Let me go. Have you hit your goal once in the last week? I don't know. Because your goal may be above mine, but have you actually hit it? Shh. I do sometimes. I know you do sometimes. Well, let's let's see when the last time I hit it. I hit mine on last Saturday. It's not updating. Dude, look at that. And went well past it. Nice. It's always awesome. I tend to go past mine. Oh, if you're wondering, for listeners. I don't believe this. According to the last three months, I've never hit it. But I have. I know I've hit it before. Oh, no. I'm sure you've hit it. But I can actually believe you haven't hit it in the last three months. No, I have. Because this thing will buzz. like go. It'll go crazy if when I hit my step goal. When, when, was, when did you think that might have happened? The pat like it happened last week. I don't believe you. No, it did. You are challenged. I think it's lying to me. I think you're lying to me. No. <laughs> oh no 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 no. Here we go. Here, see, this is over the month. It happens. Uh, I don't know why over three months it wasn't showing that. I guess it was doing averages. It must have been doing averages. Oh. Not daily. See, and then even last week on Thursday I hit it. See, see. Okay. See, I'm not a liar. Okay. It looks like I hit it about once a week. Eh. Yeah, I hit it twice a week on in July. Yeah. Shh. <laughs> I haven't said anything. Hey, if I if I could be if I was more active, I'd hit it. Yeah, I'm, I'm and not. And that's why I haven't changed it because I want if I want that to be like a a push. Bill, you're consistent. Yeah. You actually hit it daily. Maybe I should raise my goal. I don't, I don't care. Do it. I think we should up it, um, or actually do the weekend warrior challenge. You do that. I could start one. This weekend will be easy to hit. Oh, yeah, it would, huh? Because of the... The fair. The fair. Cancel. All that you do is just walk back and forth through the fair. Weekend At a very, there? very slow pace. Actually, I think going going outside, you get more walking than you do at the fair. Same with cons. Like, cons, you think you'd walk a lot. You actually don't walk a lot, a lot at cons. You, you, you take 10 steps and you stop. And then you take 10 steps, you stop again, and then you go wander off to some meeting, and then you set. Like, cons have been my least amount of walking. Low activity? Yeah, just you walk to some, you walk, you check out the vendors, it's fun. But it's kind of the slow pace, do, do, do. And I think the fair's different, though, because, like, the foot traffic that they have, you have to kind of move along with it. To a point. I yeah. guess I guess in a way you might be correct on that because even if you go for the fair food, you're standing in lines and the lines just kind of creep. I'm going to get a bullseye burger. Is it going to be Wild Bill? Uh, no. Is it going to be... It's not going to be animal style either. It's just going to be a, a plain burger. Uh, is it going to be... Like a cheeseburger. Uh, uh, what's the other stuff? You don't um, want the sunrise or Lone the... Lone Ranger? What's the Lone Ranger? 
inside out. I think it's where they put the sticky on the inside. Oh, I do that on my own anyway, so I will ask for it to be a long Yeah, ranger. there you go. So I don't have to do it. Because <laughs> it get, I get sticky when I do that. What we're talking Anyways, about Bullseye is Burger. Bur- yeah, go ahead. Bullseye Burger is a burger where instead of a bun, they use a donut. Just a glazed donut. It, imagine a Big Mac. But with a donut. And not mayonnaise, but... Well, yeah, and you don't put mayonnaise on a burger. Yeah, that's disgusting. I know a lot of people do. And if you if you with like it, barbecue it's sauce though, and that's bacon. an option, yeah. And you can put bacon on it. You can put ketchup on it. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> you can do anything you want. And you do it sunrise or sunny side up with an egg. Yeah, yeah. You can put an egg on it. That's the, the thing that the people do here. The egg's really good. And Wild Bill is well. I guess the Wild Bill is the double. It's not more like the Big Mac. So it's a double. It's two quarter pounders. And you get well, if it was a half. Big Mac, it would also have some kind of donut bun in the middle. It does. Does it? Yeah, it's one and a half donuts. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, that's even cooler. Bill, did you Sold. have the Wild Bill? I uh, have for many, many years. I have been eating healthier lately, so I have not for also many, many years. So but Bill has two. not gone wild lately. No, 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 no Wild Bill. No Wild Billions. That's fine. Yeah. All right. You want to talk about this now? Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is something I think Fitbit should do. Yeah. Um, what this is is the uh, Stanford engineers have apparently developed wireless sensors that stick to the skin to track our health, which would be really cool because right now basically all you can do is just have it as some kind of device that straps to you. But if this could like... The next step here, besides this part, would be if they could actually just implant it in you, and you don't have to like replace the batteries. It just powers itself off of your biochemistry, but we're a long ways off from that. Okay, well, it depends on what you're wanting from this. Yeah, so... Because I, I don't, you don't, it doesn't need power if you are... have Whatever is... You know, it's like your credit card. You provide... Or even animal oh. tags. So you provide it the power, so it'll do the stuff... Yeah, but I, I, like in order to track your health, it would have to. Yeah, might maybe somewhat active. Like it, it depends. Like if you, if it doesn't need to be active all the time. Like let's say you, on um, this guy, he has it kind of strapped next to his uh, wrist on the underside. Mm-hmm. Maybe you have that there for a pulse, or you have it up on your upper arm for uh, getting like b- blood pressure or something, and you activate it by like putting the reader over it or something, which would wirelessly power it or something, like it does with the. NFC on your cards. So that could work, but I think you would still, like, for this to be really usable, like, wh- where this would be really nice is a uh, blood glucose monitor or cholesterol monitor mm-hmm. or something like that, where they could just either inject it into you or have it analyze your skin chemistry or something. Like, it wouldn't be as good as a detector, but... Actually, they're Pretty getting pretty good. Yeah, but I just mean it wouldn't be as good as being inside the blood itself is what I mean. Like inside of the blood vessels. Does that connect to an app? I don't know. No, I, this I is all this. in this is all in beta. So this oh, is yeah, just it's, yeah. It's still at the university. Yes. But this is still Stanford has been doing this. It's called the body net. I'm Maybe. just intrigued by it because that means we're one step closer to doing that. And I think personally, me I wish that Fitbit would go back to this stuff instead of trying to go down the smartwatch avenue. Just because I think they would have... Like, this is kind of an untapped market right now. Oh. Like, we have these general purpose, like, watch-like devices, but you can only have so many watch-like devices. But there's also... Realistically, you only need one. Some of us have two. Okay, but having things implanted creates the... So you could create security flaws. They, they prove that, and that with that's the. That's why I think this approach would also be a, a good half medium, where that you would just stick it on your skin instead, or something clipped in your clothing, or yeah, or they were even something. talking about that clipping stuff onto clothing. Yeah, and clipping it on the clothing that works, but people haven't like you tend to lose stuff like that. Like when pedometers were a thing, they also broke a lot too because they fell off and fell on the ground. <laughs> So my pedometer has been very nice lately. That's because it's built into a watch now. It's a pedometer with smart features. So it's better <laughs> if they strap it in then. 
next topic. Yeah, I, I, I think just having the ability to stick something on that, like general, like specific, like purpose specific devices. So like you don't have a smartwatch that tries to do it all. You just have like no, it's, it's usually it's called an Apple Watch, or a Google Wear watch, or a Garmin, or yeah, that. They, they they try no the, a lot of these watches try to do it all. They do. And depending on the watch, they do a pretty good job at it, actually. Like the e- EKG e- on the, on the, the Apple Watch. In the U.S., it's called EKG. Okay. What well, in other places? What is it called? It's Britain. I forgot. Uh, Anyways, it's just a something else. Some kind of heart rate monitor, but it's not, it's more than that. It's, it's like a, check for heart palpitations. Yeah, it's can check to see like your heart rhythms, basically. Not just heart rate, but to see if your heart is beating erratically or skipping beats or what would be beating erratically, I guess. But It looks yeah. like with their test or the pic- the image that they actually have that's on the sleeve, it just looks like it's just kind of an either attached on the it's sleeve or just... It's clipped onto the sleeve. That's what they were talking clipped? about. Mm-hmm. So there's something that they can put on the skin with a sticker and there's stuff that you, clip on, you can clip on the clothing. But back to my point before we move on is uh i think just having like specific purpose built devices where they do one thing really 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 good would be better and like but this would be doing multiple things still it could yeah and uh, that would probably be fine too but like a device that's they don't necessarily do one thing but they do a handful of things like related things really well because, like, you know, like, you can't get a th- something to watch right now that can do blood pressure. Not unless it can, like, constrict the band, and then that's not going to be, like, probably, passive. But it's called a, a pit boy <sighs> No. <laughs> and that's way too large. You don't, li- don't want to wear your pit boy all around? Nope. No, oh, come on. That's uh, just the best way to go. Nope. Mini computer on your arm. Mini computer on my arm. Your computer is too mini. <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. It's hard <laughs> to do anything on it. But you have an entire full screen. Just type your things in. Send off your messages. I remember back in the heyday, and we're going way off topic on this, but when uh, Android Wear first came out on my watch, I downloaded a web browser. It was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Patch. It, like, I, as soon as I turned it on, I could feel the watch heating up as it was eating through the battery. And you know, making the CPU go at like two hundred percent. Yeah. Oh, no, okay. The other thing with this, so this yeah. they were using RFID. They can use with our technologies getting better and everything. They could use Bluetooth. They could use Z-Wave. They could use Zigbee. So all this technology could be coming out to make the whatever it is that powers it. They could use Z-Wave or Zigbee. Well, you could make it last longer, and you can also proprietary. It. Oh, I see what you're saying. But yeah, with Bluetooth getting more and more low power, they could just probably stick with that. There's options. Yeah, there's options, but I just think just getting more s- s- purpose specific stuff instead of generalistic. Like I think those smartwatch is probably here to stay now. <gasps> what? I mean, Apple finally hopped on the bandwagon. I well, they're they have to. Their phone sales are terrible. Right? Well, yeah, their phone know. sales actually bottomed out. They did because they were making phones that were lasting a long time. Not just that. But they're so the phone sales bottomed out, but they still made profit because they have the subscriptions and watch sales went up because but you the watch needs the phone, therefore yeah. people with the phone that are buying the watch. Yeah. But Yeah, I, I still think the smart watch is here to stay, at least for a little while. That's not gimmicky anymore, like when Android Wear first came out. It only took it like 10 years for everyone to stop wearing watches and then start wearing watches again. I know, but I, mean, I just mean like for now. That's, yeah. that's why I say for now. Okay. I don't know that uh, Fitbit will be around in 10 years, but we'll see. They're going to keep I trying. Hope. I think they're going to try until they get sold, bankrupt, or any and all the above. I still, again, this is just my wish, but I wish they'd go back to just the simple trackers and focus more on heart-related stuff. Not heart related stuff. No, it's small. Pedometer. Like it's not necessarily stepping, but healthy. Because they they're they're Fitbit. They have all these other stuff. Like they have like uh, 
what is that thing called where it will measure your weight? oxygen levels? Oh, no. wait, scales? Scales. <laughs> <laughs> mind, mind your blank there. They have scales. Like, not a lot of people know about it, but they do have scales. Yeah. They could easily have something that does blood pressure monitoring or. We talked about that last week or the week before. Or they could have something uh, that. The Versa actually has built in. They haven't built the software around yeah. it, but it has an o- uh, oxygen sensor. So. In, that's yeah. how much oxygen you have in your blood. Yeah, they they could do something like that. They could do, uh, I think, having some kind of glucose monitor. And then, like, if they did so, that and then also were able to sell, like, good, like, cheap glucose. So glucose is actually something that's, any of the smart devices, you have to have it surgically implanted. Yeah. Uh, and then the devices will talk. But, like, I wasn't even meaning that. Like, the scale is standalone. True. So I was just meaning like you have a, like people who are diabetic, they just use their Fitbit uh, blood sugar monitor. So you're saying have a like, million watches for a unique No, 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 no. Oh, okay. They just, you just have a standalone device that's just a blood glucose monitor, but because it's provided by Fitbit, the more economies of scale, and I kind of would hope that the glucose prices would go down for like sold by mm. them just because right now they're way too artificially high. True. And the people who usually need it are generally poor, and they can't afford glucose, but if they don't get it, they die. <laughs> okay. It's kind of a crappy yeah. situation. I don't know if they're generally poor. I just know a lot of people who aren't necessarily rich and have diabetes. So. Healthcare is expensive. Healthcare is expensive, but especially if you're diabetic. I think healthcare is just expensive. Going to the hospital once. Well, that was a rant. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) But we're going to take a break and we'll be right back. And we're back. And do you know who Satoshi Nakamoto is? That name sounds so familiar. I don't know why. I don't know. You don't know. Was it Nintendo? No. Worth much, much more. Okay, I don't they, know. They have this, they, they kind of created this thing that you store in a wallet and it, it kind of. Money? Yeah, but. Credit but, card? But imaginary money. Well, Bitcoin? Yeah. Oh, uh, is that the creator of Bitcoin? The creator of Bitcoin. Okay, what about him? He has a real name now. He revealed himself. Oh. He came out. They, I didn't know they I didn't know that we didn't know. Oh no, nobody knew. Like everyone knew it was a fake name. Yeah. And he had a bank or he had a crypto wallet that was worth quite a good small large Was it stolen? No, no, no. He just he's been saying on it. Oh. It's quite the chunk of money. Mm-hmm. But he started releasing, hey, here's information. I'm going to reveal myself. There were some rumors about who he thought he was, everyone thought he was. And the very first person he told before he told publicly, Mm -hmm. this is great because this is on their website and everything. His very first person he told was his wife, who he was married to for eight years. And she didn't know? She had no clue. He even says the name. And it was like, you guys. And he's like, you know, I have a secret. She's like, don't tell me you're a murderer or something. He's like, no, 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 no. He's like, I'm Satoshi uh, Nakamoto. And she's like, who? He's like, just just Google him. And then she, so she goes to work, hops on transit, and is like, Google's him. He's like, that evening comes home, and it's like, wait, so does this mean you're really rich? It's like, why would I be living in a normal house if I was like really, really rich? So he really is really rich. If he sells his Bitcoins, he's really rich. But so he sells like coins, not just like, Parts of a coin, like most of us. He has lots of coins. That's nuts. That seems kind of, I, I that's like mind boggling to me though, just because, he's not a, like it is only because of the fact that he was the creator of the currency, and it might be kind of suspect that he has a lot of them. I don't know. Well, but he he mined when it was easy to mine. Can they? I guess they like with. Because of blockchain, they can probably prove that he actually did mine it. And so yeah, he just, and like, and made it appear. They, yeah, and they, okay, well, there's a history of, on the blockchain. Yeah, there's that. a history. So, and he nothing's happened on no movement has happened on this for so long. 
so people actually thought the guy would like got caught left went to jail there's some other stuff but there so he talk this his interview talks about his, you can either read it or listen to it talks about the interesting of how he chose his name the all his math his how he is as a person he's really nice guy really just was looking at ways to try to you know help out society overall and he had to go into hiding or he had to like hide who his real identity because bitcoin was illegal in the world for the longest time oh was it yeah like, cuz currency can only for the longest time could only be made by nation states and not some random no i i get that yeah so yeah and he had to be identified as a legit nation by Certain organizations, whether NATO or UN or whatever else. So there's also been the back and forth on that. I would have been afraid to actually like reveal myself. Still, actually, I could see some of that too. I guess My, uh, because people are like, "Oh, you're a billionaire. We want your Bitcoin now." But he he revealed himself because it's not so. It's not a problem now. Like Bitcoins are becoming. You know, Bitcoins are actually on the rise again. Whether it's because people are not trusting the economy, because that's usually when. People are worried that the economy is going to take a dive. Oh, so they go into other investments? Yeah, and Bitcoin. Like non-money related ones? Well, non-government controlled. Like this, But Bitcoin's still super volatile. Yeah. And if everyone starts investing in Bitcoin, it spikes back up. Everyone feels comfortable. The economy returns. Everyone sells. Bitcoin bottoms out. Well, a bottom out for Bitcoin still is like 10 grand. <laughs> <laughs> they got down as low as I think. A couple of thousand, actually. It started off at a dollar. I know, but I mean, <laughs> recently it's gotten down to okay. Within the last like two years, it's gotten down to I think a couple of thousand. It started at a dollar. I don't. I'm just saying. You okay. used to be able to spin circles on. Uh, you used to be able to rub your feet across the carpet and bit, make Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, because they were really easy to mine. Yeah, you could mine on a CPU back then. Yeah, you can do that now. But you're usually in a pool of people, and you're probably never going to mine it. But you might, or you'll might you'll probably contribute to it at least. So I'm going to link his the website, and I recommend it's a it's definitely a longer read or a long listen. I feel like he was telling his wife like he's Batman or something like that. <laughs> just a big reveal. Yeah. The only thing is, he's like, I'm Batman. She's like, Who? Who's Batman? Just just Google Batman, okay? Just do, just <laughs> you got this, okay? Come on, Bruce. Really? I'm Batman. I'm Batman. <laughs> yeah, right. Actually, that might be a better name for the podcast. I'm Batman. Dude, I'm Batman. Oh, uh, or, I don't uh, even remember what the old one was. Oh, the Q. The Q. I don't care. I don't know. One of those. Maybe I should type this in before I forget. Well, it's either that or I'm a. Uh, Satisha or or, uh, or Satoshi Nakamoto. If you do that, people are think think you're going to be interviewing him, and they may not click into it. I don't know. Maybe they will. You'll have to listen to find out exactly what. Ah. Now we just named the is. podcast. No, actually, I'll just see the title. Yeah, I guess they can just look it up. No, I mean just just getting the episode. All you, do, just, you don't even download the episode. We decided what it was. And the listeners already know what it is. I've decided that whenever I listen to a podcast, and then I notice the name, and then I hear it come up in the podcast, like yeah, it's like watching movies. Really satisfying for some reason. It's like watching movies or TV shows. Like hey, that's the name. It's the name of the show. It's the name of the movie. I don't know. Like with TV shows, I get that. I don't. I haven't really got that with uh, movies before, though. You don't have a Need for Speed. Yeah, but did they ever like? And that phrase was around before that. I know. Because this is a video say. game. I feel the same way with Anthony that, like, I feel like the episode of a show is a lot more that way. But I, I don't know. About all the Harry Potter movies. Okay, that's a given. Because <laughs> it's from a book. But it's. The, the book, book has a lot more options well, to the book say that. Is based on the event, the thing that is in the book. Not always. There are some books that aren't, are just randomly named. Not very many, but... Well, no, I meant the Harry Potter I, ones. I know. The Harry Potter ones, it's it's different, though, because, like, it's kind of exclusive, and they have, like, different 
different names for the different volumes, but you don't usually have the different volumes with a lot of you ready? movies. What? Mission Impossible. Uh-huh. They I, literally say that in the entire movie. Yeah, I'm sure. Don't they just say one, two, and three or something like that? Or No, but the name, because they're the Mission Impossible 4, they're MIF. So they are the Mission Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony's humming the theme. Yeah. Yep. All right. Let's see. Uh, all right. It's official. We What's talked about official? before that we noticed it, but Prime Video is on Chromecast and on Android TV, and YouTube is on Fire TV. You didn't they, want your pay per click back, did you? Well, I used it to open up CD trays. So it could still open up my CD tray. If you're wondering, you straighten out a paper clip and you can poke it in the little hole in the CD tray and it pops out the CD. And also use it to eject uh, SIM cards. There you go. Oh, yeah. Well, those paper clips, it has to be a small paper clip. Yeah, this is small. I think that's too big, actually. No, it's not. Well, you can find out. But they officially announced, though, that they they officially, they did an official release. So is it going to work? Yeah. Oh, is it? Or is I'm it? not going to eject it. Oh, you're not going to actually eject it? No, but I mean, it, it goes in the hole. It also works on uh, SD cards. You end up like that little pressure you need to put, apply to this corner of them. Can't mm-hmm. get your fingernail in there. It's all sort of thing. Paper clips are great. I don't know why they call them paper clips. You know, I use them for everything but clipping they papers were together. To be for paper I and clipping them together. I never clip paper together with them. Except what's paper? Wood pulp. Not some most of the time. Well, I mean, I, I, I take up my phone or my tablet and I write on it. You do. A lot of the world still uses paper. <gasps> paper. Your business cards. Cardstock, not paper. Just the paper. <laughs> <laughs> Your dog is not happy. Yeah. She's not joined the podcast. Maybe. I don't know. All right. Uh, how about with sticking with Google? Google. Google desserts the dessert titles. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Now it's just uh, numbers. Started with 10. Everyone loves their 10. It's been 10 years since Android uh, started, so they decided to stick with 10. Did they skip numbers? And it's just been 10 years. Oh, I guess Apple didn't skip numbers. They did they, on their phones. They did 9. They skipped 9. Not for the OS. From what I heard, yeah. Somebody else was talking about that. I thought they had... I thought... Okay, I'm going to go with that. Like everyone hates 9. And, but everyone everyone loves their 10. And Google's no different. Google, they even... People are going like, oh, you just couldn't find a name for Q and all this. And they're like, yeah, there's the stuff that it's difficult to pronounce certain places or things in certain languages. iOS 9 existed. iOS 9? Yeah. How about OS 9? What is OS 9? Mac OS 9. Oh, yeah. Way back in, like, they've been on Mac OS X for, since, like, 2001. Did they skip Mac 9? O- no, they didn't. Really? Google yeah. that one. Couldn't they do quiche? Like... Well, no, like I said, no, there was all these options, but they were saying that they didn't, between, you know, some countries will be left out, some things are a little more Mac difficult. Mac OS 9, latest release, 17 years ago, December 5th, 2001. Okay, so it did. It was... They they didn't skip it. It's okay. just they've been on ten forever. Yeah, because ten they converted everything to OpenBSD based, and that's what it's still based off of today. Okay, but back on the queue, like they were talking about that countries get left out. Some things are difficult to pronounce, and the ten year thing. There apparently there was a lot of talk in the background about this. It wasn't about not finding a queue. It wasn't about the idea that they're going to run out of letters. They just thought that this was a good idea. People are still making fun of them about it. Their answer to that is, that'll happen. You can do what you do you. Yeah. Like, they're like, we have stated why we changed. I'm with them on this. Like, there's no way. Like, they could, but there's like, the reason isn't that we couldn't find words or desserts. Like, what Mac's been doing, they started off with using cats, and then they switched to using national parks. That's yeah. what they're using right now. It's always entertaining Mac-OS. when they change their brands. And... Android could do the same thing. Like, they could still 
I think in the future they'll maintain the numbering system. Yeah. Just because, like, people remember Kit Kat, but what version was that? 4.11. Okay, you know, <laughs> but most a lot of people don't. They're like, oh, yeah, I'm on Kit Kat. How many versions? I, I need to really double check that. I No, I think it's at least four. Because that's the one I remember, too, because it was one of my favorite ones because Kit Kat is my, one of my favorite candy bars. 4.4. 4. I was wrong. I think 4.11 was the one before. I thought 4.11 was... Oh, interesting. I thought it was just all of four. No, they actually went through subversions for a little oh, while. Oh, that's weird. What was... Jelly Bean was 4.1. Mm. I, I was like, I know I recognize that. So Jelly Bean was 4.1. And I, or one one I guess, but four point one, and then there's the sub updates, and Kit Kat was four point four, and then you have Microsoft who's just like it's Windows ten. Well, technically that's what Mac did. It's Mac X. I know, but they don't code name anything. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't like, know all the desserts. I don't know them either. I just again I just know Kit Kat because it was. It's the popular one that's the older version that yeah. can be used. That's. And the Kit Kat candy bar is good. Yep. The only thing better is a Mr. Good bar. Yeah. I will fight you on that. Mr. Good's not that good. Out of the mixed bag, that is my favorite one. Out of the mixed bag? Yeah, like of the yeah, Hershey's but selection of like... You're not going to go to like the the convenience store and pick it out specifically? You could, but no, she that's, was, she's that's doing what I'm hearing. the Halloween mix bag. You always, yeah, you get the mix bag and you get to pick out which one. I like mine because I can guarantee that it's leftover. Actually, I can pretty much go through and pick them all out and know, actually people will help me pick it out so I can have it. No, oh, so much worse for most people and I love it. What is it? The dark Hershey's. Oh, I, I, I need that. So you you they, like those? If they have, yeah, if they have, okay. especially if they have almonds in them. Oh, most people absolutely hate them. And I used to. Like, my favorite used to be, like, a cookies and cream candy bar. Yeah. It's far too sweet now. I, I can do, like, the little fun size ones, but I can't do the big... Or I used to just straight up go buy white chocolate candy bars. Yeah. I can't do that anymore. I like Symphony bars. Symphony's pretty good. It's Dark. pretty smooth. Carmella's are good, too. Dark oh. all the way. What? Dark all the way. So, Disney's re- released a lot more of their information about their packages. Disney Plus. So some of the, yeah, Disney Plus. With some of their stuff, it is being so here's the fun thing. This is being released on a bunch of devices. Except Except Amazon's. In fact, actually, even on iOS, you can subscribe through <laughs> iOS to Disney Plus. Interesting. Yes. So it's just kind of like I'm not sure if they're if Google's officially gonna be on this one, but you can subscribe to like I can subscribe to HBO through Google and pay through the Play Store, which Amazon, or not Amazon, Apple is really big where everyone usually wants to push it away. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not I'm not sure why some allow Google and some allow and some don't allow Apple and vice versa because they take the same cut. No, but that's the thing is if you, you can, if you end up getting charges outside of the App Store, yeah. then they don't get a cut. Yeah, I know. And Apple is, you know, Google goes, well, fine, whatever, we'll point you. Apple is so much, though, that they say if you cannot sell your product through the app that is on our device. That's why it's uh, see, uh, Audible and, uh, let's see, what's the other Amazon? Uh, Kindle and Comixology cannot, you cannot buy these things mm-hmm. through uh, your Apple devices. Yeah, I know. Because it's it's weird though because I guess they just do that with digital content they don't do that with like because Amazon you can still buy stuff it yeah. just can't be digital and it's weird yeah you can't do Netflix on you can't uh, buy net, your Netflix account through your Apple devices anymore you have to buy yeah. them, which is also interesting because they've got a new update on themes on certain it, it it's on some iOS not iPad but iOS release that there's this like theme. It kind of came out. The other thing is, you know, it just links up like, oh, we think you like these based on what you like. And oh, that's it, It's a little more theme-ish than... I see. So along with that, though, Disney Plus is going to be for simultaneous streaming. And free 4K. Free, yeah, 4K and 
eight. I lost it. I think it's eight accounts. So like now Netflix. How many can, can you have on Netflix? I don't know. I've never maxed it out. Basically, oh, seven profiles. Okay, seven profiles. Wasn't it? Manage up to or create and manage up to seven profiles on a single account. Didn't even know that that was even a thing to consider because it's not like they can watch at the same time usually. Like on Netflix, if you have the bare bones one, you can only have one screen. Correct, but this is comparable to the two screen one. Two screen. Uh, yeah. Price wise, yeah. I'm I'm just saying that like I didn't even know if Netflix has a surpri- uh, a limit on how many profiles you can do. I'd be surprised. And they usually make you they give you the kids one that you have to delete straight off the bat if you don't oh, want. I still have it on there. I don't care. I, I never use it. I've not turned it off. I just it's there. It exists. So yeah, so Nick or for so Disney Plus is going to have seven profiles, 4K, four streaming channels. There was originally they were fighting to make sure that you couldn't share your password with your family and friends mm-hmm. because multiple streaming. And this is I think where they instead of actually like blocking IPs because Netflix knows things get shared, HBO knows their their stuff gets shared, but by limiting the number of views or viewing devices at the same time mm-hmm. is probably the best idea you because and it, netflix did that too like yeah before you could have like as many streams as you wanted mm. and they finally cut down on that by limiting the simultaneous streams which is what made me get a netflix account to begin with ah because i was sharing my roommates and he had it shared with his sister already and she kept getting on and kicking me off <laughs> which you know fair enough it still sucked So I'll be interested in this. The old, I've been kind of, I might start like jumping streams by, and the, you know, people also talk about this, that, oh, <laughs> this is a, a Netflix killer and everyone else jumping in and CBS and Viacom and da, da, da. And so it is and it isn't. No, it's not. Not even remotely. Well, One, even the crea- the CEO of Netflix like, uh, is like, this isn't a streaming war. People will come and go and that's okay. Oh, uh, okay. And... Netflix is is worldwide. Netflix is actually in oh. m- in. There's still content that's region specific, but well, there is some things. Netflix yes, as uh, on its uh, as a service is Netflix is expecting to pick up as many people as dis as they're going to sign up for Disney Plus. Because there's more than the U.S. Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN are still a U.S. Ma- major. There, Hulu is is working its way outside of the U.S. At this lowest rate there is. So Netflix is well, ready to open up into another country. What I mean by it is and it isn't a Netflix killer, like it's not going to kill like Netflix specifically. It's just with this many streaming services coming out, it might make it to where people just stop doing streaming. Because like, it'll be like cable all over again. It has a danger of, being, of. of becoming that way. Is but what I'm saying. I also can unsubscribe from one and you subscribe can. to another one. I'm not locked under contract for now. And, and I think that would be the first the first person, the group that does contracts is probably going to be their death, even if it is the big Netflix. And they might do what internet service providers do where or other services where if you want to cancel, like SiriusXM, you want to cancel, you got to call them. <sighs> you can't just go online and cancel. And But places like that start getting nailed for that type of stuff. Some of them do, but yeah. like Sirius XM, I know they're a completely different market, but they're still media based. They're the only ones out there that can do satellite radio. It hasn't really uh, affected yeah. them any. And because their competition is technically radio, they haven't gotten nailed for the um, monopoly. Even though it isn't a lot. It isn't technically. It's technically, yes. But, and to, to be fair on them, their subscription costs are actually somewhat reasonable on the trial mode. Or not in the trial mode, but in the... I usually just get the free thing on it and then walk away. That's what I did this time. <laughs> especially where they open it up every once in a while. Like, every, like, couple of months, they open it up for, like, Memorial two Day is opened up for two weeks around oh, that time. Look at that! What about Labor Day? What about this weekend? Do we get... I think so, yeah. I would, I, I'd imagine. Let us find out. Uh. Yeah, you still had the Android 4.1 in there. There we go. We can find out. Uh, Labor Day. Labor Day. Series XM blog. Click it. I'm afraid. Do it. Do it. Do it. 
Uh, celebrate Labor Day 2017. What? Really? All right. Let's, I literally put 2019 on my search. Why? In the past, I've had it free. It's probably going to be free again. Yeah. So if you have a... And it might even be free right now. I'd have to check. Yeah. No, I don't think it is because the button, the preset for my radio station I used to listen to is still grayed out. Meaning I can't go to it. Oh, see, I, I still have the, like the free like intro station that they uh-huh. round through everything. Yeah, which annoys me. Really? It wouldn't annoy me so much if it didn't say every two minutes or every like three minutes, hey, you're listening to the free serious channel to to subscribe, call this number, and then uh, you'll be able to listen to all the channels on your radio again. And it does that like every like three to five minutes, I feel like. It's just in between every second. It's like a commercial. That's too many commercials. Eh. Have you ever listened to regular radio? Yeah, the stations I listen to, there's not that many actually. Yeah. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's free weekend, even though I can't find it. Hooray. Free weekend, maybe, possibly. Yes. If you have a serious th- uh, thing, you can An go. old radio that doesn't even have to be activated anymore, or it could even be one of those portable ones they used to sell. Oh, yeah, I forgot about those. I actually thought about buying one. Plug it in, provide it power. No, they, they had some that were just straight up portable. All right. That was weird. Yes. The noises. All right. Noises. Uh, let, we'll, we'll just wrap things up. You don't want to talk about the... You don't even know what they say. No, I can't read My them. text is too small. I make, I make my browser minimal. Teeny tiny text. Nah, it's okay. Oh, no, the rest of the stuff is old news at this point. Old. Old. News. Old. So what's your famous last words? What's your famous last words? Give me ambiguity or give me something else. I'm Seitashi Nakamoto. I am a banana. I'm a banana. I'm a banana. Look at me. Move. Nana.